what is in my toiletries case video. We are getting ready to go out of town and I like to take everything. Seriously. If I could find a way to like squeeze my whole bathroom contents into my car and take it with me, I probably would. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I invested in this, which I have already showed in a previous video. Um, actually, I take that back. I have not shown this in a previous video. It is coming up. It's scheduled to come out. But so this is from Henry Bendel, and it's a train case. These actually fit inside each other, but because I actually am taking so many things, I am using them as two separate train cases. And I will go through the small one first, which is my makeup bag. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what is currently in my cosmetic case. And if we open this up, you will find several Real Technique brushes my eyebrow brush from Bodyography, along with an e.l.f. stippling brush, which I love to use on my brows, and a couple more, my eyeshadow brush from um, Afra, and an EcoTools crease brush, which this is another one of my favorites. I really like these. Okay. Next thing in here is my Smashbox Photo Finish pore minimizing. I love the stuff down my T-zone on my face to help prevent shininess. This is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is just the travel size which you can get for like ten dollars. This is an amazing setting spray and it lasts a really long time so I really recommend just buying the travel sizes and not even wasting your money on the big one. I have my Beauty Blender which is really necessary for my Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer, which is actually hiding in the top of the lid. <laughs> um, I love this stuff. It goes on rather thick, so I really recommend applying it with a wet beauty blender to um, spread it out so you get a flawless finish. But this stuff, it does what it says. It really will stay all day. Moving on, I have the Body Shop's bronzer, which at the moment I am actually using as a face powder because I have on a self um, sunless tanning and my current face powder is way too light. And then from Model Co, I have their bronzer, which came in a Boxy Charms box. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh my god, that is so dark but it actually blends out really beautifully and um, you can apply it as light or as dark as you want it to be. Next I have my Tarte blush in the color Savored which is a very very soft pink color um, with a hint of shimmer in it. I love this blush. It goes on really nice eyelash curler, tweezers, and then I have my two favorite palettes. If someone said, Tina, you can only have two palettes for the rest of your life, these would be them. I absolutely adore the Naked 3 palette with all the roses and the pinks. Um, Buzz is by far my favorite color in here. I love Nooner. Oh, this just makes a beautiful pink eye. And then the other one is my Too Faced Natural Eyes. This is the updated version of it. And again, I love the colors in here. I especially love Push Up in the crease. I love uh, Nudie for the lid. And then Heaven for the brow highlighter. And I'm also a big fan of Cashmere Bunny. I just think these colors are glorious. And if you want to make a smoky eye look, Sexpresso will do a great job giving you a nice dark smoky eye. Yeah, oh, two favorite palettes of all time. Next, I have my Brow Zing, which is for my eyebrows. You have the wax on one side and your powder on the other. And I just use these little brushes, believe it or not. Well, at least the one here for waxing them. And I just trace the bottom line of my eyebrow and put a little of this over the hairs and then I will use my bodyography brush to 
put the apply the powder on and if I do accidentally get a little too much somewhere you use the spoolie to brush up and it just corrects any mistakes or clumps you might have made and since I color my hair I find that that's really good for helping me to match my brows next I have in here my Tarts lights camera flashes which in my opinion is the best mascara of all time. I was using the purple one, Lights Camera Lashes, but by the end of the day I would have a little bit of raccoon eye. With this one there is no raccoon eye. This stuff, it's not waterproof and yet I, I can only get it off my face with actual makeup remover. To me this stuff stays put all day, no raccoon eyes, and you get such long beautiful lashes. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner in the black. And this is one of those liquid eyeliners. Gives you a nice fine line. My next eyeliner in here is one of my all-time favorites, the Rimmel London Exaggerate in Rich Brown 212. And I love this because it is a wind-up. Um, I hate having to sharpen eyeliners. I find it to be really annoying, noisome. But I do have one eyeliner in here, my Naked 3, which it's one of their dual ended ones, a 24-7 Glide Eyeliner Pencil. I love this eyeliner, but I do wish they would make it in a twist version because I have already broken the tips off several times because I just, I suck at sharpening eyeliner. I, but the formula, it's like putting butter on your eyes. It's so smooth and it just glides like nothing else I can describe. So definitely a favorite there. Then I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne. This stuff is really great for keeping the makeup on your eyes from creasing or rubbing off. And then nail clippers and my Honest dot com lip balm in orange vanilla. This is another favorite product. Now moving on to the larger train case and I open it up. First thing you'll find is a Hello Cone Jack. This is a dew puff. It's hard as a rock but the minute you get it wet it gets soft and squishy and it's great for washing off your makeup. Then I have a hairbrush and another hairbrush along with my uh, Monster Claw. This is my Sage and Row Bare Shave Cream. This came in a pop sugar box. This is the thickest, most luxurious shave cream I've ever used. And it's $17. I would never repurchase this. I mean, I got getting it in a box, yay! Buying it myself, not gonna happen. So I kind of use it just for traveling. Then I have my Toms of Maine Naturally Dry 24 Hour Wetness Protection. And then for me, this trip is about girly time. I, you know, the boys are going to go hunting, or not hunting, but fishing, quadding, mudding. They're going to get dirty and gross. I'm going to be at the house sipping a cocktail, doing my nails, and just having pampering time in quiet with a book or a DVD, relaxing. So this is Essie's Cute as a Button, and the other one is Essie's Peach Daiquiri, two of my all-time favorite colors. And toothpaste, nothing luxurious there. And then this is my Karuna Age Defying Face Mask. This is one of those sheet masks. I absolutely love this. This one is my all time favorite. When you take this off, your skin is so silky soft. Ultimate favorite in pampering. Moving on to the little cases down here. Opening this one up, this is my skincare. This is my headband uh, I use for pulling my hair back. This came in a pop sugar box and I love it because it's so wide it really pulls your hair way back off your face. And then I have in here my Tibetan Goja Berry Advanced Anti-Aging Eye Serum with Retinol. And this is another favorite product of mine. This also came, this was in a FabFitFun box. So and I've been using this now for about seven months and I just oh, love this stuff. This is a product I haven't tried. At Sephora a month ago, they had a travel package 
for like $42 that had $155 worth of samples in it. So yeah, I bought that. And this is Glam Glow Youthful Exfoliating Treatment. I have never used this product, but I figured since this weekend's going to be all about pampering for me, this would be a perfect time to do a nice lovely mud mask. In my skincare is my Vita Liberata 50 SPF Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. I love this for my face because it has a nice milky consistency and it just blends away to nothing. I'm taking one body butter with me. This is my Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil, Be Spirited in Sweet Citrus. And I love argan oil, and this is so light and creamy, and the smell is divine. I swear, it smells like a dessert, not a body butter. I have my First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is just this was a sample size that came in that kit, and I was actually glad to get it because I use this at home, but I didn't want to take a big one with me. This fits in my little travel bag perfectly. And then for bedtime, I have my Rock Retinol Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. Knock on wood, I don't have deep wrinkles, but I also really, really don't want to get them, so I figure use it now. <laughs> And then I also have in the morning, I like the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. This stuff, this is a product I've only been using for a short time. It was one of the products in the travel kit I bought, but I am really liking it. Um, it's a, one of the vitamin C brighteners, and I wasn't using a vitamin C product, so luckily I didn't break out from everything, and so far I'm really liking this one. And the last thing in here is my Sustain Ultra Eye Drops. This is just a little sample size bottle, which is more than enough to get me through this trip. And that's everything in my skincare bag. This is my hair care bag, filled with more samples because I stockpile samples. This came in, I believe, a Pop Sugar or Boxy Charms. Might have been Boxy Charms. This is the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo Spray. Um, I like this spray a lot. I don't buy this one traditionally. In my bathroom you'll find the big can of the Rockaholic um, dry shampoo, but this is a really nice one as well and I just kept it because it was a sample size for traveling. And then this also came in that Sephora kit I bought. And I've had samples of the Living Proof in the past and I did like them. But I will be totally honest, I would never in a million years buy this on my own. To get it as samples in a kit, awesome. But each one of these at the store is like $29 a bottle. Um, it's good, but I cannot say that it's $60 good. So yeah, I will use it as a sample, but I will not be rebuying it on my own. And then this is Bedhead's Manipulator, and I love this stuff. It looks like blue taffy, like liquid blue taffy, and you would never know that I've been using this for months and months because you just use such a tiny bit, and I actually got this at Ulta for $2. When they were having their 5 for 10 sale, I grabbed like three of these because you use such a little bit. It lasts, one of these is like a year supply, and I got it for $2. Then the next thing in here is my Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. This is a multi-purpose product for me. During the colder months, this goes on my face at bedtime. All year long, a couple drops of this gets worked into the ends of my hair. And then um, when I think about it, I'll even use it as a cuticle thing, which you can tell I don't remember to do that very often. And then the last product in my bag is the Caviar Cream CC 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. And this is just one of those leave-in conditioners that you rub into damp hair that does everything. So it's frizz control, shine, volume, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so this was also in the travel kit I purchased. And then the very, very last thing I'm taking with me is my Restasis Eye Drops to fight my chronic dry eyes, my arthritis medicine. So that is everything. And as you can see, it is quite a lot. Uh, I wasn't kidding when I said I would take everything but the kitchen sink. 
So if you've used any of these products yourself, give me a comment below and let me know what you think of them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me in the future, click the subscribe button and I'll talk to you later.